Hello everyone, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at the best golf balls you can buy for £25 or less per dozen. So we've given out different models to various members of the Golf Monthly team. They're going to take them out onto the golf course here at Essendon, put them through their paces, see how they perform and feed back to us so that you get a better idea about exactly what there is on the market. Now if you've had the chance to use any of the golf balls we're testing in this video, please do leave some comments below. We'd like to hear what you have to say. Um, but let's start now. Let's head out onto the golf course here, here at Essendon. So one of the balls I was testing was the Inesis Tour 900. You can get it from Decathlon stores. And I've got to say, I was very, very impressed with this golf ball. It's a, it's a very good all-round performer. It's got a urethane cover. So that's the thing you notice with this balls, I think, in this category over others. It does offer really good spin control around the greens that is comparable with balls that are pretty much doubled the price you know the spin levels different shots pitch shots chip shots there was definite grab there on the second bounce so i really enjoyed that long game performance was pretty good it does tend to spin a bit more on those long shots so drives and iron shots than the ball i'm used to which is a tartless pro one x so that extra spin did hurt me a little bit in terms of distance it was around about five to eight yards shorter with iron mid irons and then kind of 10 to 12 yards shorter with the driver but that said i think for the price you'll get an excellent performance. And that short game performance, I think especially really makes this ball stand out versus the competition in this category. It's had a knock with the Titleist True Feel today. I've got the yellow model here. It's also available in white if you are more traditional. I don't usually use a yellow ball, but I didn't find it overly jarring. Um, it was fine to look down on. Uh, and obviously it performs in exactly the same way. Easy to find wherever you are as well. Maybe the white is slightly more visible if you're looking in thicker rough because it's just not quite a similar colour to the grass. In terms of the performance, for the price point that it is, I was actually really impressed. Off the tee, it felt solid. Uh, decent distance, comparable to most other balls that I've used as well. The durability was really impressive and I did put that to the test by going in a couple of uh, off-piste locations and knocking it against one or two trees and it held up really strongly to it. Um, you are giving up a slight bit of touch and feel and spin around the greens, but I would say to most sort of even high single figures and into mid handicap and above, that's not really going to make any difference to the scores you're shooting. Only the very best player is really going to notice a difference that's going to affect their actual performance. Yeah, I used the TaylorMade RBZ Soft. Now I'm an 18 handicapper, so golf ball testing isn't my forte, but I can say a couple of things in particular about it. Firstly, durable. I think someone of my uh, skill level doesn't want to be having to change their golf ball every hole, unless of course you lose the ball. Uh, so, you know, it lasted a good few holes um, and there wasn't any scuffs or anything like that on it. Um, distance wise off the tee as well, I didn't see a huge difference from the guys who were using premium balls who hit it at similar distance to us. To myself and because it was a soft ball as well i did feel like it was a little bit softer around the green uh, again i'm not sure whether that's something that someone of my level would be too much interested in um but i thought yeah very very solid ball for what is a really good price under under 20 pounds per dozen so another golf ball that we tested was this Strixon soft feel bright and as the name suggests it comes in three bright colours, the green, orange, and this red option that we've got here. And this is really designed for golfers that struggle to track their golf ball in flight. And also if you want to add a bit of personality to your game, it obviously does that. But you know, from the testing we did, um, we definitely found this on most situations easier to see in flight versus a white golf ball, especially in days like this when it's a little bit overcast. We actually really enjoyed the all-round performance that it offers as well. As the name suggests, it feels soft on all shots and off the tee it actually went pretty far. It was uh, quite springy off the face, had relatively low spin. I think if you're a slow swinger, you'll enjoy the distance this golf ball offers with your driver and your iron shots. It doesn't quite give you a massive amount of control around the greens in terms of uh, short game spin. There's a little bit of reward there for well-struck chip shots but um, this golf ball really prioritizes that bright uh, vivid look off the tee uh, to help you see it better and it really delivers on that and uh, for 25 pound a dozen i think it's definitely worth a try if you struggle to see where your golf ball goes i've never used homer golf balls before and personally i normally prefer white golf balls anyway um, these these colors are very very bright but actually i really like the yellow ball um, they felt it felt responsive off the club um, from tea to green, liked it rolling off the putter. Um, so in fact, I, I was probably pleasantly surprised. Um, as, as I say, at first I was like, whoa, because these look 
are very, very bright. Um, not, not the sort of ball that I would normally use. I would still say it takes a while to get used to them, yeah. but that's more about the colour rather than the performance. So overall, compared with the other balls, I would say they're, they're on a par. The Strixon Ulti Softball, I, um, I was struggling with a slice early on and I felt the Ulti Soft was maybe cost me more distance than the ball I would normally use. Um, so I experimented, tried it out against other balls and when I hit it perfectly, I would say it was as long as premium balls. Uh, and round the green, very soft. I hit a few chips today where it really grabbed on the second bounce when I wasn't expecting it. I don't think the grass was quite lush on the greens, but it was um, much more grabby around the greens than I was expecting for what is effectively not a premium ball. No durability problems and I wasn't hitting it great today, so it was, potential was there to scuff the ball. Um, I felt that when I hit hit it with cut spin, I was losing more distance than I would with other balls, which I think possibly goes against what the ball is designed to do. And maybe that was just in my mind today because I wasn't hitting it very well. But I think uh, I, it, it performed very well for a ball that is half the price of a premium golf ball. So another golf ball that both myself and colleague Tom Clark tested was the Swix on Distance. There's a new version for 2021 and it comes in at around £15 a dozen. So it's one of the less expensive options in this test. But I've got to say, we both really enjoyed the all-round performance that it offered. Yes, it's built primarily for distance off the tee, so if you really want to outdrive your playing partners, this is definitely the way to go. We found it to be a little bit longer than what we currently played in that premium ball category. Um, yes, it does sacrifice a little bit of short game performance, but there is a little bit of reward there, I think, for well-struck chips and pitch shots, a little bit of grab, but it's definitely not going to spin as much into and around the greens as a premium golf ball. But it's surprisingly durable as well. It has a really nice, firm, explosive feel off the face. So if you want to hit shorter irons into greens, the Strix on Distance is an excellent option to try. I use the, um, the Callaway Warbird, which is one of their distance balls. I'm, I'm a mid-handicap golfer. I'd say my the area that I let myself, I, I don't necessarily struggle for length, but although this has given you good distance, I'd say around the greens, if you want something a little bit um, softer, you're probably looking more at some of the, 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 the chrome soft, but um, it, it did offer me a little bit of um, performance around the greens, a little bit of check where I sort of caught what, where the strike was good. Um, where it's not quite so good, um, you're not gonna get that sort of reaction uh, off the club face and it's durable too, very durable. I mean, I don't necessarily strike the ball consistently well all the time. So when I did have one that wasn't quite struck well, um, it, it you know it wasn't scuffing up. So it's a durable and considering the price, you know, it's only £19 per dozen, uh, it's well worth in, in investing in this ball if you are sort of that mid-handicap range. So uh, the ball I was using was the Callaway Super Soft. Um, I say off the tee, I felt that it was really good. It was low spinning. So, I mean, I don't hit a very high ball flight, but when it was landing, it was rolling out considerably. Um, with the approach shots, it was gripping and holding on the green. I know the green's quite firm today, but even with uh, kind of mid to high iron, you were still able to get some sort of grip and some sort of receptiveness on it. Uh, the other thing that I really liked as well was with the Super Soft logo here, that when you were lining up a putt, for example, you wouldn't have to draw a line on with a Sharpie. You can literally just put the ball down and use that as your kind of guide to use. Um, Com compared to other golf balls, I mean, obviously it's slightly cheaper, but it's definitely worth the value, I feel. Um, you know, I've tested, I've tried out Pro Vs and used them before, and to be honest, hitting them into the greens, the Pro Vs and this reacted pretty similarly, I thought. So there you have it. I think when it comes to uh, golf balls in this particular price category, uh, there's lots of really good options to choose from. Uh, and they do come at the slightly different price points. If you've had the chance to use any of the golf balls we've tested in this video, please do leave some comments below. How did you get on with those golf balls? We'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, and if you've enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.